Everybody, it's your girl Panina Monet, and I am back with another video. Today we are going to be doing foundation, foundation, and this is a requested video. I was asked to show how I do foundation for beginners. This is for beginners, so it's very beginner friendly. Not too many steps. Um, originally, I was just going to do the foundation and then do a little highlight and a little concealer, but I'm just going to go ahead and finish the face. I'm going to talk through everything, the products, why I use them, blah, 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 all that good stuff. So anyway, let's get started. And I don't really think I should color correct, whatever. So let's get right into it. <coughs> For today's tutorial, I will be using this L'Oreal Infallible. What is this called? L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Makeup or 24 hour foundation. And this is in the color Classic Tan. It is probably like a half a shade too dark. For me, this is really like my uh, summer color, but I'm using it anyway because it is perfect. The coverage is perfect. Actually, you know what? I do need to conceal one area. I need to conceal this little spot right there. I'm going to use my favorite Fawn. I'm at LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn. Normally, I would use the um, peach color corrector, but I don't feel like doing all that. Just gonna put that there and color correcting is really very really 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 helpful if you have hyperpigmentation or if you have pimple spots or whatever any skin problems you have that you want to conceal and make your skin even color correct <coughs> and then the color you use determines the color of your skin but for me I don't feel like putting that uh, peach corrector on today so we're just gonna put that in and dab it in boom boom and let me go in with my foundation. Oh darn, I forgot to uh, <laughs> put my primer on. This is the True Complexion Primer from Black Radiant. Shiny. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I have combination skin. It's more oily than anything, but I am dry around the perimeter of my face. So I have to put this in my T-zones, on my nose. And I already have my uh, brows and like really light eyeshadow on. No lashes. These are my babies. My lashes. I'm sorry. I had to make sure I was recording. I just did this whole video and realized I was not recording. Mm. Mm. Mad. Too mad. But it's good. So I'm going in with this. <clears throat> I'm getting cold again. Getting a cold again. I'm going in with this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And it's dirty because like I said, I just did this. <laughs> and I just had to wipe it off and start over. But you want to start putting your foundation on the center of your face and work your way out to the perimeter. So that will alleviate you having that clown mask face. And don't put too much on under the eyes because that's what we're going to use. That, um concealer for when I highlight unless you have like dark circles and you need like extra coverage then you can go ahead and put that foundation under there okay so I'm going to take my real technique sponge and go in and dab the areas that I applied that foundation to make sure that the coverage is A1 because we need A1 coverage okay A1 all right so I'm going to go in with my favorite color fawn again where is it Just, oh <laughs> go back in with that fawn the LA girl pro and we're going to put it under the eye. You don't have to go in and draw those fancy Aztec looking shapes. Just put it on. But there is a method to the madness, okay? I personally put more here and then less as you get closer to the cheekbone. 
same reason why I do um same reason why I do my foundation like that so that way you can have more coverage on the inner corners and then it kind of like fans out and don't directly ap apply it underneath the eyes because if you do crease <clears throat> you putting product right there on top of product on top of product is going to make it crease even worse so there on the shin down the nose on the forehead I'm going to go in with another color. This is a lighter color and you can layer up your concealers like this or you can do one blended in and put the other one on blended in. This is faster. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Yellow Corrector. It's upside down. <laughs> yellow Corrector. And I'm only going to use a little baby bit of this. that beauty blender which not beauty blender real techniques beauty sponge which is dirty and blend and I personally like to bring the extra down around the nose to above the lip because for some reason I don't know my lip is like it looks like I have a mustache which I'm sure a lot of people have that problem but uh or have that problem I need to set it already. See, that's why you don't put it right there. Mm. Getting powder everywhere. Goodness gracious. <coughs> I'm using this e.l.f. blush brush. And I'm going to... i to stop that from creasing. Mm. I got it everywhere, y'all, too. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway. to set it already and because I have pores I'll push mine in first and then like sweep it so I can kind of blend it in work the product get the product in the face first and then kind of like just blend out lightweight wipe out the extra part All right, so we're gonna let that chill out there for a second and then I'm going to contour. So instead of me using a cream contour, I'm just gonna use powders. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. Very nice color. Warm up my <coughs> contour areas. Some of contour areas. Excuse me, y'all, it's like three, four in the morning, something like that. This is like the only time I get to record without my child acting crazy which you guys will meet soon because she is funny but put that right there cavity and if you don't know where to put it follow that line there I'm trying to work faster this video won't be so long <clears throat> And using a color that's close to your skin gives you like a really subtle contour. And really, I wouldn't even call it a contour. I'm just saying like it's really just putting dimension back in my face. So that way the foundation won't just have my face just looking like flat, plain. No colors. <clears throat> Nothing but one color. We need multi-colors, multiple colors. All right, and then I'm gonna take that, take it down the sides of my nose for a very subtle nose contour. Put it up in that little socket cavity. And under the nose. Mm, cute. All right, so now I'm going to go in with this Black Radiance Press Powder in Cafe. <coughs> and I'm going to use, I guess I use the same brush, that same brush to deepen 
just like this area right here because I don't like to bring it all the way in just right before you get to hmm, if you can feel your face like right before you actually get to the cheekbone bring it from the ear there to that little stopping point and I do this because of my face shape so really the way you contour depends on the way your face is shaped and I have an oblong it used to be oblong like I said I lost some weight so I don't know what it is it looks like it's kind of oval right now which it might be it might be who knows <laughs> if it is that's best that's the best best face shape ever Put a little bit right there and a little bit right there and oh can't remember if I put it right here anyway just put it right there again and let me dust off this powder and I'm going to go in with this bare minerals warmth powder Let's see this this is the one that's running low but I gotta use this out I'm going to use this up before I open up my new one. And I'm using this as blush. And this is the Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush. Put that right there above the cheek. And for this powder, you only want to use enough for one side of your face. So that way you won't put too much powder because it is really pigmented, actually. But when I say this is like almost dead, like I really need to kill this jar now. Like, just go ahead and toss it and use my other one. But I'm about to use every last drop of this. And now I'm going to go in with my little highlight. And this is the e.l.f. Shimmering Highlighter in the color Gold. It's really pretty. Use that. And this is a Jessup Tapered Highlighting Brush. Got this on eBay for like, I think it was like a a set of 18 for like um $17 or something like that chin cupid's bow nose a little bit on the forehead not a lot and then use I don't know why I picked that brush I meant to get a different brush to blend that out beautiful and I need to spray my face. I'm going to use my MAC Mineralized Charge Water. Let's see if it'll focus. Get the gist. Spray. Mm. I'm trying to think of what the heck this smell is. I don't know. It smells like cleaner or something. Anyway, but it works great. That and then I am looking for my NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline to top off the look mm. no liner anything just good old gloss mm, mm, mm. and this completes the look foundation highlight contour what else did i do that's it <laughs> a little blush <laughs>